Hi, welcome back to the X79 chipset seminar with the Zeus. We've seen the ROG board, now it's the turn of the Sabretooth. I'm here with Mark. Mark, you've got a pretty hefty looking board there. Yes. What's special about it and why? The special thing is that we got the Revolution Thermal Armor on it with the active cooling fan and the other one is blower fan on the PCH Thermal Armor. Why would I need something like that on a board? We don't see it very often. Okay. So, what's the point? And the point is uh, the, uh, the total new uh, X79 platform, the, the, the CPU and DRAM, the, it got a very higher power current. So, we put the heat pipe here. The, the heat pipe will guide the heat from this area to the IO area. Okay. That's why we put the like, IO cover on it and also with the air. The, 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 the active cooling fan on here. And also the PCH also have the heavy loading when you, the, the heat, the temperature will going high when you have the higher loading. So we also have the blower here. Okay. okay. So just to confirm, because it's such a high powered chipset, mm -hmm. there's so much heat just around this particular area oh, here. That's right. It gets drawn out to here and exhausted where? Out of the back? Yes, at the back and uh, down here. We got a hole design over here and also we have the special IO show I will show design. We got a hole on this area. That's then it's easy to make the fan, the fan uh, have the function. They guide the air cool, cool and air cool air here from this side, okay. and uh, the air flow will come from here and here. Okay. So compared to a board without this cooling on board, yes. okay, X79 chipset. How much cooler is this? Surely you've run some tests in your labs. Mm -hmm. Uh, in regarding to our test results, yeah. the delta temperature will come to 5 to 10 degrees C, especially for this area and the PCH area. And presumably with better and better cooling, yes. it aids overclocking. And have you seen a difference between a regular board mm -hmm. without this stuff on and this board in terms of pushing a CPU mm -hmm. to a high frequency? Uh, if you want to push a high CPU to a high frequency, we really recommend that you have this kind of thermal solution because the active cooling and the blower fan can uh, get the, the, heat, the, dissip the heat dissipates efficiency. Okay, so it's good at cooling. Yes. What other features are there that okay. our readers and viewers should know about? Yes, for the top model, mostly we are going to have the thermal radar. Thermal radar is a kind of a funny uh, and easily UI for the people they can control all of the fans on this motherboard. For example, the chassis fan, CPU fan, they, you can control the speed and you can control the, 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 the temperature by the temperature. And, and is that, sorry, is that through the BIOS or would that be through no, the Windows GUI? No, that's Windows OS. That's right. OS so based. if I got this right, you set a temperature that you want yes. and the fan then spins at the right speed to make sure that temperature is achieved. That is right, yeah. yes, correctly. And as well, also we have the, the, the ASUS SSD caching, which means just like the Intel IRST function, mm. you can catch them, uh, use the SSD to be a caching of the HDD, then you can have the speed, read and write speed like SSD. So is that on top of Intel's RST? Yes. And is it better in your test? Of course, in my test. Of the, yes, of course. In my test, the performance is around the three times right. from the normal one. Okay. Are there any plans to make this type of board into a smaller form factor? I understand you've got cooling here, okay. but people have got smaller chassis mm -hmm. and it would make a lot of sense in Micro ATX. Uh, in our plan, we are not we are not planning to uh, facing this kind of like a thermal armor into a micro ATX. But for the ceramics, like we, we, we mentioned that before, not in this board, like uh, uh, Sabertooth X58, we got the uh, ceramics heat sink. Like uh, we, we might face that kind of technology on the micro ATX. I've asked your colleague this question and yes. ask you, how much roughly do you think this board's going to be? How much? In US dollars. Okay, I think uh, it's a little bit sensitive, but for the, okay, for the X79, I think it's a very high end level of the platform. It's around more than 20, 100, uh, 200, 200 more, than, more than $200. Right. Yeah, at least. Okay, thanks, Mark. No problem. So if you've got $200 spare, maybe you want to consider the X79 Sabertooth. Until then, head back for more on Hexus TV.